Design Central is a feature that you will use quite extensively. Design Central displays an object's properties and options when that object is drawn or selected. It's convenient in that it can be moved to a more convenient location. Let's do that for this demonstration. To give an example of how Design Central can be used, if we click or select the Rectangle tool, notice that Design Central now displays options and values for shaping the tool, such as the width, height, corner style, and other properties used in drawing a rectangle. When the Text tool is selected, it then changes and displays options for creating text, such as the font, font style, and other settings. This is also true when selecting an object. As we click on an object, such as this circle, Design Central will display options and values to adjust that circle. It usually has more than one tab. The first tab always contains general options for that object. The second tab has options that relate to the object's angle, and the last tab has options specific to the object. Let's move Design Central back to the outside location for right now. Delete or clear the circle. Zoom out a little and look at some options and functions of the drawing area. As mentioned earlier, the drawing area is where drawing is done for our design. If you notice, there is this black box or rectangle within the drawing area. This is your document page. This can be used to define the limits of the sign area. For instance, let's imagine that you have to make a sign that can fit within a 24 by 24 inch area. We can adjust the document size to that area by clicking on the file pull down menu, select document setup, and the document can be adjusted within Design Central. Here we can enter 24 for width and 24 for height. Let's zoom out a little, and now we have a visual area that we can design to. Next, let's look at how to get around in the drawing area. Here we have opened a design that is fairly intricate. In order to work on the intricate details, we need to get in closer. This is where the zoom tools can be useful. In the toolbar, there are seven zoom tools and one pan tool. The first zoom tool is for zooming into an area by drawing a rectangle bounding box around the area we want to zoom into. Let's zoom into this area here. Let's click on the zoom tool, move the tool to one corner of the area, and then click, hold, and drag the mouse point and a bounding box starts to form. Once we have the bounding box around the area we want to zoom into, we let go of the mouse and it zooms into that area. This tool can also be quickly accessed by pressing the Z key. The next tool is the Zoom In tool. Click it once and it will zoom in closer to the drawing area. Keep clicking in the drawing area and it zooms in even closer. We are zoomed in really close, so let's zoom out to the document page. That's what the Zoom to Page does. Click on it once, and it zooms out or in to the document page. The Zoom Out tool has the same function as the Zoom In tool, except that every time we click on the tool, it will zoom out. Typically, when zooming into a drawing to edit a drawing, there are times where you'd like to zoom out, view your work, and then zoom back in to continue working. This next zoom tool is very handy for this. Let's zoom in closer to the drawing. Pretend to make some changes. And then now we want to see our handiwork, so we click on this tool and it zooms to our previous view. Click it again and we can keep working on that area of the drawing. The final two zoom tools will zoom into specific areas. Zoom to selected 
we'll zoom into the object that is currently selected. For instance, let's select the vine and leaves in our drawing. If we were to click on the tool, it immediately zooms to the selected object or objects so that it fills the drawing area screen. The final zoom tool will zoom in or out so that all the objects in the drawing area fit within the drawing area. The pan tool will pan across the drawing area. In essence, it literally moves the drawing area window to different locations of the drawing. The last button on the zoom toolbar turns on fills. Right now this design looks faint, but if we click on this button, it shows how the design will look when it is assembled. Most of your designs will generally start out with the fills turned off. As you start to add objects and give them color, the Turn On Fills button will give you a preview of how it will look when it is put together. For quick and easy panning and zooming, use your mouse wheel. Scrolling your mouse wheel will pan up and pan down. Holding the shift key on your keyboard and scrolling your mouse will pan to the left and right. Holding the control key and scrolling your mouse wheel backwards will zoom in, and scrolling your mouse wheel forwards will zoom out again.